Thank you for coming today. I'm going to be presenting work that I'm conducting in conjunction with colleagues here at the University of Georgia um, and the University of North Georgia on the condition of septic infrastructure in Athens Park County. And none of this work would be possible without wonderful collaborations um, with the county and other institutions, including you own. But I'd, uh, and many people in the county have supported this work, but I would like to specifically highlight uh, Dave, Mary, Mike, and especially Cheryl um, for her passion for septic infrastructure and supporting um, this research. So we know that globally, on-site waste treatment systems or septic systems are exceptionally important to support wastewater infrastructure development. And in the US, about 40% of new developments are still uh, permitting and installing septic systems to support wastewater treatment. When they are installed appropriately and maintained, septic infrastructure can be exceptionally important and the most cost and energy effective way to treat waste. Um, but data suggests that they have a lifespan of about 20 to 30 years and they should be pumped about every three to five years. I wanna highlight that the data uh, pertaining to lifespan and maintenance are exceptionally limited um, and much more work is needed to actually assess those time periods. But what it does suggest is that many um, jurisdictions within the US are facing an issue of um, aging and obsolete or poorly maintained septic systems. In many jurisdictions, we don't know the location, the number, the condition or maintenance, or the failure risk of uh, tanks. And we are exceptionally challenged by lack of data and records, many of which are maintained on paper, and there's no way to uh, quickly search those data. And to obtain better data, it's exceptionally resource uh, intensive with humans, and it can be very expensive. So the purpose of this study was to work within a county that is the exception. I just want to highlight, I will not continue to repeat this, but Athens Park County is very special in the attention and the investment it has paid to understanding its septic infrastructure. And none of this work would be possible without this proactive thinking uh, of the county in both um, understanding where the systems are located, um, supporting people in obtaining those data and providing, essentially providing treatment options for septage within the county. But we wanted to take the data from athens Clark County and use it to develop a framework to support uh, local governments in actually um, creating their own uh, septic data with potentially more limited data infrastructure. And for today's talk, I'm just going to focus on some of the information about um, athens Clark County that we were able to obtain using these data. I'm not going to spend so much time talking about these projections for other counties, but at the end, I do provide contact information and I would be very excited to talk to anyone uh, from other counties around ACC or within ACC who are interested in learning more about their infrastructure. So basically what we wanted to do is to look at a jurisdiction, identify areas that present a known environmental risk for sink, tank installation, look at data that we have about uh, individual tanks, consider where these tanks and what their condition are, are located relative to sociodemographic data, especially race and poverty, as we know that that impacts um, access to and ability to maintain water infrastructure to create some sort of way for local governments to prioritize either on a tank by tank level or on a watershed or census block level where they might want to invest in policy development. So the first thing we did, and by we, I want to highlight my undergrad, uh, Rebecca Parsons, who's a co-author on this talk, collected data from the county, and this is athens Clark County, and we downloaded these data in November of 2018. So folks from the county that are aware that the, the, the data were presented here are older than, than what currently exists. And we were able to see these layers, we could see them, you can see these little red dots on the map, those are known locations of septic systems, and they have paper records associated with each of these tanks. And the first thing we did is we wanted to know whether or not if the county thought there was a tank there was, do we have evidence that there was a tank there? And so we assessed the quality of the known locations of tanks. And so we took all of the tanks that were in that layer. Um, we removed any tanks that did not have any installation data associated with it. Um, so this is year and oftentimes location with a map. 
Um, we took the parcels, we examined the parcels with confirmed multiple tanks, and we actually went to look on Google Earth to see if there might be um, uh, mobile homes or other things that would justify multiple tanks, and we removed any inappropriately placed multiple tanks. Um, and then we did an evaluation of randomly selected par uh, parcels within this to just kind of assess location accuracy. And after all that, um, we only ended up removing uh, a small proportion of the tanks. So of about the 9,700 tanks we had, we were able to keep about 9,000 of them um, in the analysis, which is quite, quite good. And again, that's not to say that those, those tanks were inappropriately placed or the county does not know. It's just they were not, the data that we needed were not associated with that layer. So then what we wanted to do was look at um, factors about the tank. So tank level factors like age, which we use from installation data, and physical factors about where they were placed in the environment, including soil suitability, slope, and distance to stream were examined um, through geospatial analysis. And I just wanna highlight, these are some of the, oops, I'll move out of the way so you can see Big Creek, um, but these are some of the sub-basins we're working in. So you can see um, based on this where the tanks are. So we put those tanks in the sub-basins and you can see that in the um, sub watersheds that we have uh, identified here, tank density um, is not evenly distributed throughout the county. And unsurprisingly, in the center of the county where sewerage is, is fairly widely available, um, it's not surprising that tank density is lower. Something else, um, but what we did find out when we looked at all the tanks um, and we considered the environmental risk, so again, for those three factors, or tanks at risk from age, which according to um, estimates from the EPA, we said tanks above the age of 25, um, we can see that ACC, probably like many jurisdictions, knows the location of legally placed tanks, so they shouldn't have very much environmental risk, but older tanks. So almost 70% of the tanks, the known tanks in athens Clark County are older than 25 years, suggesting that age and tank level maintenance may be an issue. Just to highlight a couple of the environmental factors, and I'm sure many of you know this, none of the soils in ACC are very, are perfect for septic. So all the soils are classified as somewhat limited for septic placement, but relatively few portions of the county are actually um, very limited uh, with respect to soil. And that was the number one risk um, for the environment that we identified. So about 700, 680 tanks um, were at risk for where they were placed because of soil, but there was very, just to highlight again, very, very little uh, risk from the total number of tanks in an area. I also want to highlight that the age uh, distribution here suggests that even um, the, the county is dealing with about 4,500 tanks that are over the age of 36. So again, highlighting that tanks in athens Clark County are old. When you map that, this is what it looks like, and we've blown out uh, or blown out three little areas. So you can see that there are areas where um, this gray shaded area where soils are of risk. They are, um, but they're not necessarily of risk to distance to stream, which is in the gray or via slope. But we do have clusters of different age, uh, subject systems of different age within the county, not particularly surprising. But you can see that density and age is really heterogeneous throughout the county. The next thing that we did is we wanted to look at sociodemographic distribution of septic tanks in the county to see if there might be um, issues associated with um, economic disparities and or race um, regarding older tanks in, in the county. And I'm not going to go into details, um, but you can see that um, it, it, it's kind of like a shotgun. So um, as many of you know, Athens Park County is relatively poor. So many uh, census blocks within the county, which you're seeing here, are living uh, below 30% below the poverty line. We also um, have census blocks that are predominantly non-white, and those are more than half non-white are identified in the gray color. And then census blocks that are both um, impoverished and um, have a predominantly non-white population are highlighted in other colors. So we are doing some more analyses on these, but you can see um, tank age and distribution is fairly widespread all throughout the county, as are uh, predominantly non-white census blocks and predominantly uh, impoverished census blocks. But this may be of use to the county when they're developing policies about um, where they're going to be investing in infrastructure. 
So the last thing that we did that I'm going to discuss today is we wanted to figure out how many parcels in ACC that um, they may not know um, or we can't assign on waste treatment um, with known data. So what we did was we took all the parcels in the county generated layer, we removed parcels without sewer connections, um, we removed parcels without permanent build or uh, buildings, and then we removed parcels without uh, without sewer, but with um, permanent buildings. And I can talk more about in detail about what we considered a personal uh, permanent building. And we relegated this number as the parcels that may contain septic systems. And notably, um, this is what the map looks like. So in the gray areas, um, the light grays have no buildings on the parcels. The darker gray areas actually have unknown water infrastructure. And this may be problematic. I wanna highlight that the county may know what the water infrastructure um, is, but we were not able to assess it based on known location of septic tanks and known sewer connections with the data layers we were given. And so when we look back at those numbers, there's over 5,000 parcels that we don't have using those data alone um, an assignment of water infrastructure. And this suggests the county may want to invest if there are no other resources that can uh, bring this number down, uh, looking into those uh, parcels and just especially in the more impoverished areas to see what's going on with water infrastructure. Because we do know that straight piping or just homeowners adding a pipe to their toilets and discharging directly into the environment is still a big issue throughout the country. And this is, again has been dominate, or, uh, documented um, extensively in the Southeast, especially in Alabama, uh, North Carolina, and Virginia. So to conclude, the state of global water infrastructure is troubling and reliance on septic is increasing. Um, septics can be exceptionally effective, but we need more data to inform management and monitoring efforts. Marginalized communities um, may be at special risk for septic systems failure, and hopefully with some of the tools we're developing, counties could make some sort of uh, prioritize, prioritization so that could be applied to other counties. And the ACC data are exceptionally special, um, and they can be used to ask important but unanswered questions about septic systems, so I just want to highlight how awesome uh, the ACC data are and thank them again. Um, and I'd like to conclude by saying we're really excited to do this for, for uh, work with other counties in the watershed, especially those upstream of Athens Park County to get a better handle on what septic infrastructure looks like upstream. And you can contact me with any questions either at kcaps at uga.edu or capslab at gmail.com. Thanks so much and I hope you have a great day.